All right, here he is making his way to the octagon and looking to lead as the new UFC light heavyweight champion. He is the number one ranked 205 pound contender and is finally realizing the title fight here tonight. He believes he has a lot of advantages in this fight. He believes he's the better man. Look at the confidence on his face. No UFC jitters for this man. He is out to prove tonight that this champion is a one trick pony and that he is the best light heavyweight on the planet. We'll see if he can turn those words into actions here in short order. joined a long list of Hall of Fame types. Chuck Liddell, John Jones, Daniel Cormier. Now this man is the hunted at 205 pounds. He is the UFC light heavyweight champion. He has defended the belt. He has proven without a shadow of a doubt that he's the best 205er in the world. A lot of momentum with the challenger here tonight, though. A lot of people think we're getting a new champion. The champion is not among those. We'll see if this man can walk out the same way he walked in as the undisputed light heavyweight champion of the world. the take now for this lightweight championship fight. More than five years apart, with similar height and some differences in reach. All right, now for the particulars inside the octagon of Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Light Heavyweight Championship the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 18 wins, one loss. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Mechacala, Russia, presenting the challenger, Magomed Agalayev. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Muay Thai fighter, holding a professional record of 29 wins, nine losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Warsaw, Poland, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, Jay This is for the UFC Championship. I want you to build my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, about your corners, not fair. All right, so lofty expectations for this matchup is round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it all. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Nice punch land over the top. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Right hand upstairs. 
Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. <laughs> Miss with that jab attempt there. Oh, straight right. Takedown defense holds up. Hip over when he throws that kick. Right hook to the head block. Just over three minutes to go, round one. Punch over the top. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. Oh! Wow! If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Oh! oh. He didn't like that left hand. Oh, no! He's got him hurt here. Back to the feet. Oh, straight right. And both guys really throwing with authority. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Way to hide that leg kick. Oh! Lands with the right hand. Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here tonight. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is a jab this young man has a knowledge of using it like no one else. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Watch right, so the fighters are in the clinch again, DC. I get tired just watching these situations. It's exhausting. This is a position where you are con- Oh! What a fantastic spot to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. And now he lands a combination. Oh! 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 He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Look at how fast. The only person I can do this to is maybe John. John, there's a, there's a weight difference. I don't know if you know jujitsu much. You miss a lot of your class. If I'm going to do this to anybody, it's Anik. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Well, pretty good work off at the bottom here by Bajo. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to hold him. Yep, there absolutely. You Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pad. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. All right, so a high-level round there for him. We'll show you some of the action here, and you got to think the knockdown is going to be featured prominently here. Thought he might have had him out of there. He thought he had him, but the guy's tough. The guy's durable. He has a fantastic chin, but he just needs to stay the course. He does not need to be discouraged. Think about this. You're winning, and you're winning going away. That was just a moment. Keep going in the same direction, and you will get the finish that you want so bad. Slips the punch nicely there. Oh! 
dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Whoa! Oh, he might be out. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. He's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Trying to recover full guard there. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Back to his feet. Big kick land. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab is working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Wachowicz's punch to the body is blocked, so no damage done there. All right, lands a kick there, pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. And potentially a critical, and this might just be a matter of time. Oh, nice! Now to go in round two. All right, side control now. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the board. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch him punch, I just put a smile on my face. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with a the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Well, some fighters, when they get cracked in the mouth, they respond well. He got stunned earlier in the round, and... Whoa! He's out! It's over! It's over! <laughs> Just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and marched right through it to get the knockout. And there is the UFC light heavyweight champion of the world. The celebration continues after the big knockout win to get the job done tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Rogliano is going to stop in this contest at 3 minutes, 25 seconds of round number 2. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, Magomed Ekelaga! Well, DC, I don't know if you agree, but for me, there are a few things as exciting in this sport as when we crown a new UFC champion and we got a new light heavyweight king. Man, I don't know if there's anything that excites the fans, that excites the masses more than a new guy getting the belt wrapped around his waist. He knew this moment would come. He finally has achieved his ultimate goal.